Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a negative integer by a negative integer. So a negative divided by a negative. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative nine divided by negative three. With this being a negative divided by a negative, we have the same signs. This means our quotient, the answer to a division problem, will be positive. Just like when we multiply integers, having the same signs will equal a positive answer. Let's think of this as nine divided by three, which is three. And again, this is going to be positive because we had the same signs, a negative divided by a negative. Our final answer, positive three. Now I like to picture and think through this as dividing negative nine into groups of negative three. In other words, how many groups of negative three are in negative nine? Or think about how many negative threes can we pull out of negative nine? Well, three negative threes. Again, our final answer, a positive three. Now to go off of that, division is the inverse or opposite of multiplication. So we can also go the opposite way using multiplication. So let me rewrite our problem here. Negative nine divided by negative three equals what? So what times negative three will give us negative nine? Well, that positive three. Positive three times negative three equals negative nine. And we know that three needs to be positive because a positive, positive three, times a negative, negative three, will give us a negative answer, negative nine. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative 50 divided by negative five. So we have a negative divided by a negative, so same signs, that's going to give us a positive quotient. Let's think of this as 50 divided by five, which gives us 10. And again, that's going to be positive. So our final answer, a positive 10. Now we can think through this as dividing negative 50 into groups of negative five. So how many groups of negative five are in negative 50? That's going to be our final answer of 10. Let's also take a look at this using the inverse of division, the opposite of division, multiplication. We will go the opposite way here. So negative 50 divided by negative five equals what? So what times that negative five equals negative 50? That's going to be positive 10. 10 times negative five equals negative 50. So there you have it. There's how you divide a negative by a negative. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.